Hey guys! In this video, I'm going to be going over what I'm calling intermediate basics. And this is what you should start working on once you've gotten the beginner basics down, you know how to make your slip knot, your single crochet, and your chain, and you want to try something a little trickier. So for this video, we're going to go over double crochet, how I make my magic circle. And then I know a lot of you are here because of my linked double crochet round rug. So we're going to jump into how we get started on that as well. So the first thing is our double crochet. So for our double crochet, we're starting with our one loop on the index finger. We yarn over, insert the finger into our next loop, grab hold of the yarn, pull through. Now, we yarn over again, pull two loops off, two loops on, yarn over, pull two loops off again, and that's our double crochet. Let's do it again. Yarn over, find that next stitch, insert the finger, grab the working yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's how our double finger crochet looks. Now to set up to show you the difference between a linked double crochet, we're going to be looking at this space here. So in order to pull our stitch so that it continues from stitch to stitch, we're going to link it. And I want to make one more stitch because I don't like the placement of that seam. So when we're looking at our double crochet stitch, we have two stitches, double crochet. And to link, we want to take this front loop of the first stitch, and we're just going to lift that up, and as we would normally yarn over to start our double crochet, we're going to go underneath that loop and yarn over. And then everything is just the same. Going through our stitch, pulling through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that makes it so that instead of this big hole here, we're bridging that. So same thing, our first stitch on our double crochet, we're pulling up that bar, going under, pulling the yarn through, and then going to our next stitch, and finishing our double crochet. And so now we can look at the difference between the beginning of our work when we did a regular double crochet right here. Boop, boop, boop. And then here we started linking. <coughs> so it's just looking a little bit more filled in. Now let's talk about our magic loop. For some reason, when I started crocheting, this was really hard for me to figure out, and now I'm not sure why, so maybe I can give you a good explanation. So make a slip knot, but keeping it very loose. So we make that A, and then we want to put our finger here, but we want to hold this 
open as well. So I'm gonna take this in my left hand, loop in my right hand, and just kind of hold on to this circle that's here. That's gonna be our magic circles beginning. And this one on my finger, I'm gonna chain one. And do you see that? I'm still holding on to this while I have my chain on my finger. So now we're gonna put a single stitch going into the circle, pulling through our working yarn, yarn over, and then pull through two. And now we're starting on our magic loop. So I'm gonna put three single crochets into my magic loop. And now I'm gonna put one double crochet. Yarn over, into the loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And magic loop is fun because you can kind of include your tail in this and work your tail into your working piece. So now that I've done one double crochet, I'm gonna start linking these and I'm gonna do six linked double crochets. So like we said before, here's our two stitches. I'm gonna grab this front bar of the stitch, insert my finger, pull through the yarn, and then do the same thing. We're gonna go into our magic loop and finish our double crochet. So there's one, I'm gonna do five more. Now this is the fun part. <laughs> we want to pull this tight so that we're making a spiral. So grab your tail end keeping your finger in your loop, and we're just gonna pull it tight. And keep pulling until our beginning is wrapping inward. And that's nice and sealed up. Now we have a spiral. And so for the rest of this round, we want to put our linked double crochets into these first three single crochets that we did. And that's just going to finish out our one whole round. So once again, lift up that bar, pull your yarn through, and then we're gonna take our first single crochet, insert the finger, to put our double crochet there. And this can loosen up while you're working. You can just keep, keep tightening it with your tail there. Let's keep going. Taking our bar. Next stitch. And we've got one more. And that's the end of our first round. Let's tighten this again. So here's what this is looking like after our first round. Now for the next round, we're going to put two linked double crochets into every stitch. Good. 
first stitch done. So there we have the beginning of our linked double crochet round rug. So then after that first round where we put two double crochets, two linked double crochets into every stitch, that's when we have to start feeling out how many stitches go into each previous. So we're expanding our rows. Now for the first few, we want to be adding quite a few stitches. I like to always stretch this out and see how it's really going to lay. You can see that that can take a second double crochet. doesn't need another, so we'll just do one single crochet. One double crochet. And that's how we go the entirety of the rug. Now the first few rounds, we're gonna add quite a few stitches because we're building quickly. So maybe half of our stitches are going to be two double crochets, half are going to be one double crochet. And as we start to build a little bit, that number of increases is gonna go down. And once we get nice and big, it actually goes down to just about adding one stitch every 10 stitches. So you just have to feel that out, see if your work is cupping or waving. I think that this linked double crochet actually uh, behaves really nicely. Um, it doesn't have a tendency to cup like a circular single crochet. Uh, so that's why I really like this. And here's what it starts to look like as we finish up. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting.